Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. And welcome if you're new. I am so glad that you are here with me this evening. I am doing a variety of back to school um, crafts and slash organization. And then I have a couple of teacher gifts that I'm going to be giving to one to my teacher bestie and then one to a brand new teacher on our teaching team. And I'm just so excited that she is coming to our school. She was a student teacher on our campus and worked with us for um, the better part of a year. And we just love her to death. So I wanted to start the year off with giving her a sweet little gift just to, you know, welcome her to the team as a permanent member. Now I'm gonna be using all adhesive vinyl and I have everything already cut out to save us time. I have my transfer tape scraps, my scissors, of course, my weeding tool. I do have some rubbing alcohol for the blanks so I can make sure that they're nice and clean. And then I've got, um, I do have a little cloth and I also have some paper towels if I decide to use those instead. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. The first craft is going to be a teacher gift. All right, so you, um, if you've been around a little bit, you have seen these on my channel before. These are just little four by six notepads that I like to pick up at the Dollar Tree. And they're nothing special. They're plain white, they are four by six, and they're just plain Jane. But what I really like about them is the ability to customize. What we're gonna do is we are going to cover the cover of this notepad with some patterned vinyl, okay? And this is a great way to use a patterned vinyl that you may or may not um, really get around to using, or maybe it's been sitting in your stash for a while, or you're just not real sure what to do with it. So this is a great way to, um, you know, take care of your paper or your vinyl stash, your scraps, etc. So it is definitely a scrap buster. So a lot of these small pieces tonight are all scrap busting pieces. All right, so let me cut away this excess. So what I'm basically doing with these notepads is I'm going to cover them with this patterned vinyl and I've actually already have it ready to um, cut out. And then I have an offset and I have last name. So let's go ahead and we are going to just remove that there. So this is going to sit here. So I'm gonna use a piece of transfer tape that I've actually used once or twice before so the tack is not as crazy. Um, and I don't want it to be too much larger than my piece of vinyl. I really want it to pretty much cover the vinyl so that it's not on the paper of the cover of the notepad. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this over. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull off the carrier sheet like usual. So here is our notepad. Actually, I'll move it there so we can see. And what I need to do is line up this bottom part. And I'm just holding this up. I don't want it to touch down. And whew, I think I barely, barely made the sizing on that that I needed to. Okay, so just a quick little burnish. And then I'm gonna pull up this transfer tape. All right, there we go. Hold that for just a moment. Okay, so this is now the front cover. So it looked like this, and now it looks like this. What a difference. Okay, this, this, I just love this little, I don't want to call it a hack, but I don't really know what else to call it. It's just an amazing way to dress up something that is rather unassuming. 
Let's see. Well, I think I'll use this one here. I've got plenty of transfer tape and I've got a lot of scraps that I have used and reused that are ready to be used up. Okay, I'm just trimming off some of this little excess. All right, very nice. So this bottom layer here in white is my offset, just like that. And I know it's hard for you to see because this is white vinyl on a white carrier sheet, but this is the offset for a last name. And then, okay, we're gonna just put the last name on top of that. And what I like about this method, I use this a lot, especially when I'm labeling like drawers or bins or something, is I really, I like the words, but I also, I really like the, um, the way the offset just adds a little something. Okay, so I'm just going to burnish down the last name, my teacher bestie. I tell you, I could not do my job without my teacher bestie. She is literally a blessing from God himself. And I just appreciate her so much. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the last name and I'm gonna just place it over the offset. And I like to put a finger here and a finger here to hold this down because like the static in the air will cause these two to attach like magnets. And I like to make sure it's lined up before that happens. And we're just going to make sure that that, yeah, actually that looks really good. Okay, and again, you can't really see it on camera, but okay, so the this particular um, vinyl here actually was from Hobby Lobby. I want to say I got it on clearance, but I'm not 100% sure if I paid full price or if it was on clearance, but it's just beautiful. It's this beautiful watercolor. And then the other vinyl that I'm using this evening are my um, sheets from Expressions Vinyl, and they're just the, um, they are the Expressions Vinyl Series 51, which is permanent. And I tend to just buy permanent vinyl. Um, I tend to find that it works well for me and my projects. And then in the event that I want to remove it, it's, I can still remove it. So, all right, so now I'm just gonna use this mat here and I think I'm going to use, like I'm gonna come up three inches and that gives me, you know, another three inches. And so I'll just kind of put it right here and I'm putting it equidistant on both sides. I think that looks straight. And then just a light burnish. We're putting vinyl on top of vinyl on top of vinyl. Okay. And then there we go. So that is a little notepad for my teacher bestie. And I want to use up some of my logo stickers that I had made. So I'm actually, I am just gonna put one on the back so that when she looks at it, she knows exactly who it came from. All right, so then I'm just gonna stick that right down here, just like I would on one of my handmade cards, okay? But there we go. This is a wonderful gift to give a colleague. All right, so I've got another little sticker there. Okay, so now we're gonna do the next one in the same fashion. And this one is for our new team member. She is such a doll. She is such a hard worker. We are so blessed to have her. And then I think, well, you know, I never know with mermaid scales. And I know mermaid scales seem a little juvenile, but she did say her favorite colors were blue and pink. And this kind of has blue and pink, and I have some pattern paper that I would like to use. So I guess we will go with that. 
So I guess I will have the mermaid scales face downward. Oh, you can hear the bubbles popping. It's like bubble, the bubble wrap. Do you ever like do that with the bubble wrap? Sometimes I do. It's a good stress reliever. All right, so now I'm gonna stick this down here again. And I just wanna make sure all right, I'll get this all lined up. Okay, and then a quick little burnish. Just like so. And we'll pull this off. This is still pretty sticky. I'm impressed with this little, this one little piece of transfer tape. So maybe I may get a little bit more use out of that tonight. All right, then we're going to do the same thing. So we have an offset and we have a last name. I have a few more weeks of summer. I'm really not ready to be thinking about school yet, but school is in, it is definitely on its way. So the best way to spread teaching cheer is to give, well, singing loudly for all to hear, no, uh, is to give teacher friends little gifts to make them feel special and valued and appreciated so that we can just enjoy a good start to the first of the year. And we have a lot of changes this year. I think most of America probably has a lot of changes going on in education. Regardless of how you feel about teachers and education, being knowledgeable is important and our children are important. So good teachers definitely should be valued greatly. Okay, so now we've got last name and the offset. In fact, I never even really, well, okay, when I was little, this is a funny story, I used to play teacher with all of my stuffed animals, and boy, was I seriously bossy. <laughs> it was so, it's so horrible. I feel so bad for those little stuffed animals. But um, I have lots of pictures that my family would take. Actually, I think I'm going to bring this up here. This one's easy because I can just line the name up with the scales, but... Um, I have pictures that my family has taken of me actually, quote, teaching all my little stuffed animals. And so other than Barbies and G.I. Joe and swimming, teaching was something that we played all the time. And I never really thought about becoming a teacher. Ironically, I wanted to be a nurse, which long story, that didn't happen, but um, I ended up becoming a teacher, and you know, I really just think that I was meant to be a teacher. I think that's where God really just wanted me to be, and not that he closed doors, but he definitely made sure that my path was steered toward teaching. Okay, look at these. These would be great gifts for anyone in your circle, so for teacher gifts, co-worker gifts, little stocking stuffers, birthdays, just I could go on and on. And these, I mean, really for a dollar, if they're personalized, you could get um, a really nice pin to go with them. In fact, I just picked up like a six pack of these from Target this week. And, you know, they were, I want to say it was like $3.99 for a six pack. So one pen per person, one pad per person. I mean, that is a great gift. So if you're looking for a back to school gift for teachers, they love school supplies and anything like this that is consumable school supplies wise, this would be a great gift. Oh, and you could always stick their little, um, like a little coffee gift card in there too. But all right, so these are good to go. Let's move on to our second craft. The second craft is a little bit of organization. 
and like I'm just doing a lot of organization, not only in my craft room, but for my classroom. And um, I bought a couple of these little, from the Dollar Tree, obviously, it's their job brand, but just these little pencil cases. And I've seen tons of students have them. Um, I've never really personally used one myself, but I am always in need of highlighters um, at my little teaching podium document camera thing when I'm demonstrating geometry stuff and algebra stuff. So anyway, we, um, I decided when we went shopping that I needed to go ahead and try one of these out so that I can have a place for the highlighters that always seem to go missing. Wow, this is a very sticky label. I really, really, really do not want to grab my, my Goo Gone. I have one specifically for sticker labels like this, but I really don't want to put Goo Gone on here. I'll just, there, that, that actually came up pretty good. Okay, so I figured that I would just use this for my highlighters, and ironically, this matches a previous craft. So a previous craft I made that um, I posted in a previous video. <laughs> I didn't even realize this until right now. So I have this little tin, and I did the knee, uh, pins with the offset, and it's this little cheetah print looking stuff. And then I've got my little Target pins that I purchased in here. I got two different packages. So this will sit on my desk. And now I will have something for my highlighters. And I totally did not realize that I used, that I have the exact same, um, you know, print. That's really, it's really pretty funny. Okay, so my... Um, my paper towels are across the craft room, so I'm just going to use this little, this little craft towel. It is very clean. It just came out of the dryer, but it is stained. These you can get on Amazon. These are so soft. They're like a minky, um, feel. Ugh, they're just so soft and they clean really well and they just, they're a great all purpose. And so far, I have not noticed that they leave any lint residue. So just, you know, you can, I don't really know what they're called. If I can find them, I will link them down in the description um, box below because I actually need to get some more myself. But they are fantastic. They're like little microfiber. I'm sure some kind of microfiber, but... I don't really know what they're called or really what they're made out of. I just know I love them and I need more. All right, so this is gonna say highlighters. Let's see, we have two little middles. This one will be plenty. So I absolutely love school supplies, office supplies, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna call it. And, um, I find any excuse that I can to buy school supplies, love it, and I just think it should be fun. School, sh school supplies should be fun. So I'm just using the line of the grid of the transfer tape to kind of go along with my, with my highlighters. Okay, and then I'll do the back side, and then... I'm going to put this down. Okay. All right. So let's see. Where do we... I really... Hmm. Do we want it here? Or, you know, I think I'm just going to put it down here in this corner. So I'm going to kind of bring this in. And I want to try and get that you know, as straight as possible. Does that look straight? I think so. Okay. And then a light burnish. Okay. All right. 
I know where there's, that still needs to be, there we go. It's, it's a little hard because there's nothing inside this box to really give me a good burnish. Okay, good, everything stayed down. All right, so this will now be, for, so I have one for pens and now I have one for highlighters and they're different, so that is fun. And again, you know, this is a dollar and a scrap piece of vinyl and you have a cute little um, organizer for your desk. All right, so let's move on. My next craft is also for the classroom. And, well, no, actually, I take that back. This is for my craft room. So on a previous video, I had a very large box that I got from the Dollar Tree that I used to house about three matching or coordinating sets of alcohol markers from Altenew. And I had, um, I still had in the original thing I was using is I still had these alcohol markers here. These are the ones from Hobby Lobby that I've used on the channel previously. And then I've got these Hawaiian Shores um, double uh, tip artistry markers. These are also from Altenew. I think I got these free. They were like a promotion. I love getting free things when you, you know, free with purchase. Those are my favorite kind of things. But anyway, I don't like that little bag that I was using there. So I picked up one of these and you know, I won't have, um, I won't have an expansion pack, so to speak, for the alcohol markers from Hobby Lobby or those little artistry uh, markers. They're pretty much singular type things. So I thought I would put them here in, in this bucket here. This, again, this is from the Dollar Tree. And they, they had, let's see, blue or that teal color, um, very light. They have a pink, they have a purple. They have like this little shimmery, it's, they're just so cute. And these would make great um, little uh, snack boxes obviously pencil boxes, which is what they technically are, but snack boxes, you could do like a little teacher survival kit, kind of back to school kind of thing. You could put together, you know, a first aid kit or um, that, like you could just fill these pretty much with just about anything. And you could either keep them in your own space or your children's space. You could use them as gift, like little gift boxes. And I mean, the sky is the limit. Okay. So I decided to just keep these little, um, these extra markers that I have in their own little box. So this, this came out of design space. The last two crafts, that was just a square shape size the way I needed it. It was a text with an offset for all of those. This is an image that I found in Design Space, which I thought was just appropriate. All right, so let's see if I can still utilize this particular transfer tape. I'll just give the front in the back a little burnish. Okay. And this particular vinyl, um, apparently this is Caesar, and I did not know I had a sheet of Caesar. Maybe I did know and I just forgot. All right, got that, bring this in. And I just tried, you know, I just decided to keep this quite subdued and all right so the middle of my markers should be at about three and three quarters ish about right there and then I'll bring it down a little okay I think that oh it looks a little 
just slightly cattywampus there. Okay, much better. Okay, and we'll just give this a burnish, pull that off. And then while we are sitting right here together, I will just pop those markers right in this box. get that one down. Apparently I did a much better job burnishing down the little markers than I did the word. All right, here we go. And then they just have a little, they just have a little clasp. Oh, I'm so sorry, that was so low. These are alcohol markers. So they really do need to stay together. And these are just a set from Hobby Lobby and they actually do really nice. So if you're wanting to try out some alcohol markers, I would say, you know, stop by Hobby Lobby and give those a, give those a try. So there we go. Now I have a spot specifically for these, this set of markers. The next craft is actually um, another organization one. And this one in particular is, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out. So I have these two little folders and these again from Dollar Tree. Apparently this is becoming a Dollar Tree video, not my intention. But um, I bought two of these and then I bought a package of sheet protectors to go inside each one of them and they open pretty substantial and my thought was that I would do a better job with vinyl scraps. So currently I have an everybody in the pool uh, adhesive vinyl envelope. This is kind of a mess. I, I spend a lot of time rummaging through here same thing with my, uh, my iron-on vinyl. And my thought was is that I would just kind of separate the vinyl into colors, um, color groups, and maybe have like, like a cool pattern and a warm pattern group. And then I would put those groupings in these page protectors and just slide them in here just so that they're a little more organized and a, they're a little more um, categorized, you know, grouped together. So if you have a great way of storing your scrap vinyl, I would, I am all ears. Now the only caveat is I have a very, very, very tiny space. So I try to really, really, really use my transfer tape scraps, my vinyl scraps. I really try and use those as much as possible um, and I do think I probably could go through both um, both piles and get rid of some super small pieces but essentially um, I don't have like I don't have the real estate in my craft space for like a big file box I already have a you know set of uh, the drawers that are on wheels, the drawer tower, and those drawers hold a variety of craft supplies, but I just don't have a lot of big real estate for, you know, big file boxes or anything like that. So I thought that this might be helpful, and then these could just fit in one of those drawers. So um, if you have a better suggestion, other than try not to keep every single little scrap piece of vinyl, Jennifer. <laughs> Other than that, if you've got a great idea for scrap vinyl storage and organization, I would absolutely love for you to share that with me because um, it is really hard to stay organized in a small space. So essentially what I did with those um, Essentially what I did with those little notepads where I had the offset and then I had the, um, the little title or the name. Here I'm going to have, I guess this, 
I'm going to have a, an offset. And I chose for my offset a patterned vinyl that is plaid. I love this patterned vinyl, but I, you know, I don't always have something to do with it. So I thought that I would maybe see if I could use it up in these crafts that we're doing today. So, so anyway, I decided to try something new with my scraps. Hopefully it will work and it will save space and it'll be effective. And I'm gonna remove these little middles here. This is the Carly font out of the Cricut Design Space. Highlighters font, I forget, I forget which one that was, but this one and the notepads, those are the Carly font. And I just really like it. It's just a nice font to work with. Ooh, the light is changing outside. I may have to close these little blinds. We had, um, we've had such a, like a stormy afternoon, mostly windy. I swear the wind could just blow everyone away, really. But, um, you know, I just love to watch the weather outside. And so I've had the blinds open, but I think I may need to close those slightly. I feel like, okay, that's a little better. I can still see outside and the lighting is a little better for you. This is another thing I like about an offset is that I literally can just pull the backing off really easily and it all comes down uh, with one fell swoop. All right. So, and I'm, I'm not going to sort and organize and purge my vinyl here on camera, but um, that was my idea. So I'm just going to, let's see, do we want it here or do we think here? Oh, I just really like, I really like these corner justified labels. Okay, I think that looks straight. You know, they, they do the job, but they're, they're not so, ah, right there. Okay, now we're going to take care of that. So I will be putting the TV on. I've got a little project to do while I watch TV. Sorting and organizing. Okay, let's see. Let me... Oh, and let's see here. Yep, very good. I am really excited about getting these crafts done. Actually, I think I'm more excited about the teacher gifts that I'm making this evening. And I have one more set of little teacher gifts. And I don't know, I may put some candy too. Who, what teacher doesn't like candy? In the meantime, I am really hoping to do some serious um, hiking over the next several weeks because I will not be able to hike soon. Not only is school coming, but winter will set in here fairly quickly. This is so cute. I really, I, I am so glad I did, chose to do the, um, the little plaid. It's so fun. Look at that. That really is, that's almost more of a statement piece than the green. I probably could have found a darker green or teal, whatever we want to call that color. Come on, there we go. All right, and I'm just gonna do the same thing on this end. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Did I, did I wipe these down? 
Oh, yes, I think I did. Well, I hope I did because wiping off your surfaces with rubbing alcohol not only um, helps the vinyl to stick better, but definitely last longer because it's just a clean, blank surface. All right, so this is definitely a Gilmore Girls kind of night right here is sorting, purging, and organizing my vinyl scraps. So I love these. This was a great idea. I am so glad that y'all thought of this. Great idea. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's switch gears and we are going to do another teacher gift. And I found this really awesome tray. This was in the Target dollar spot. So this was a $3 tray. And I wish I could have just bought all of the ones that they had. So they had these. They have a little pencil. Um, I really want to go back to Target and get some of their stuff that I saw for organizing. But I was not there for me. I was there for my daughter to help her get stuff for school. Okay, so this is going to accompany the, um, the little notepad that I made earlier. And I'm actually going to take this off. Now this one might require the goo gone on the back which I can do off camera later. But um, what I figured is I would, yeah, I'll just do that off camera. Okay, so I did go ahead and grab my Goo Gone and I just put a tiny, like just a little, you know, a little bit on my finger rubbing that on the, um, the uh, adhesive, but this particular Goo Gone I found recently, it's called Glue and Tape Remover, and it says it easily removes glue, tape, and adhesive residue, and it smells so good. It's got like, a, like an orange scent. I absolutely love this, and um, yeah, so it's, I don't think this is like regular Goo Gone. This, is, this just seems to be better, and literally I just kind of pour it on my finger and go over that. A little bit more if I need but really and truly you don't need hardly any at all and then I mean this just pretty much comes right up you just give it a minute to sit there and voila it I mean it takes care of business so if you are looking for something to take adhesive off first of all it smells amazing second of all it works Super effectively and I don't think it was but just a few dollars all right so I'm going to put this here because let's see um, well I'll go ahead and just let some of that final go it'll be all right weed out these little middles. But I thought these trays, back to these trays. Um, wow, I'm having a very hard time focusing tonight. I am so sorry. So I absolutely thought it would be fun to just put a little name on here. And that is definitely not going to be big enough. Let's go with this guy. Is this guy big enough? Oof. Well, kind of. I may have to overlap some transfer tape. But I thought this would be really cute to have this tray and then, then have the little notepad on there. And again, I might do a little pin and, of course, a card. And just a, you know, hey, welcome to the team. Let me, let me cover up this part of my end over here. I'm super 
excited. I just love giving gifts. I think they're just amazing. Let's see. Um, here we go. Because I'm going to put this, and just using my mat, I'm going to kind of line it up there in the middle. I think I'm going to need to stand up for that one. So that I can get everything centered. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully my head does not get in the way. My apologies if it does. All right, so there we go. I think that's pretty centered. All right. Look at that. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. And then again, just adding the little extra things. And oh, so I have this shrink wrap, um, not shrink wrap, but I have like the cellophane wrap. So I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of wrap that all up with a little ribbon and it'll have be the tray. It'll have some stuff on the tray. What a great gift. Okay. That is amazing. What an amazing gift. I love that. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to go back and see if they have more of these. Hopefully they do. All right, let's move on to the next craft. So my next craft is something that I, I kind of have in my mind, and I really hope that it works out the way I have intended. So I found these at Dollar Tree in the school supplies stuff with all the other little containers. And um, what I thought I would do is I have a pen and pencil thing on my desk next to my document camera, but I don't like it, y'all. It just, it just, it doesn't hold things the way it needs to, and it's just, it's a mess. So I saw this and I thought maybe I could put these together. I've got some really sticky, um, double-sided adhesive teeth, so I could put these together and that would give me four compartments and then I could put something here on both sides. So that's what I want to try. So let's give, let's give this a go because if this works, then my desk at school will be a lot happier. So it looks like, oh, and that, this is actually a pretty nice thick little piece of cardboard there. And you could make it a little thicker if you wanted to double that up. All right. And I'm going to set that aside for right now. I tested out my double-sided adhesive tape earlier to see if it would hold them together. And it seemed to grab them and keep them together. Okay. So I will set that aside too. Okay, now for the rubbing alcohol. Get these cleaned off. Not because I'm putting vinyl on here on the back sides, but because I'm going to be putting the double sided tape and I would really like it to stick where I put it. And then I have a little, um, I have a little saying in for each side. And, and that will be on vinyl. And those those are fun. I'm excited to show you those. This is just some very thin um, double-sided adhesive tape. And I am going to go to town back here and just really put as much as I can back here. And then we'll get these put together. So I have all of, I'm going to move all this out of the way, I have a ton of the double-sided adhesive tape, and I really like it because it is super, super thin, so it's not going to add any um, bulk in between these. And then I'm just going to kind of put them together. 
like this. And I'm going to press them together. Okay, so I'm tugging on those. That is some pretty strong stuff. Guys, this is from the Dollar Tree. Like in the craft section, it's, I didn't know that it would be that strong for plastic. Like this is really not coming apart. Perfect. I'm excited about that. So I'm going to set that over there and then we're going to do these little fun designs. So um, I have this first one here. I'm going to stick that down in there. And I'm going to stick one behind, just give it a little extra depth. Okay, so this one, I am super excited about this one. This one here. is just some black adhesive vinyl and oh got some little letters here and it says um it says math teacher like a normal teacher okay i hope i can get these little letters to come up or stay where they're supposed to so I have everything weeded out now um, this particular pie symbol it kind of you know, I, you have you ever cut it where it's like so close and then it basically your cut um, comes off of the vinyl? <sighs> yeah, so I totally did that. So I had to recut the pie because it definitely had cut off. Oh, we could, forgot a little A right there. All right, so this says math teacher, like a normal teacher, but cooler. And I just thought that was so fun because everybody loves to tease math teachers about how nerdy we are, but hey. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab, I want to put this all down at one time, so I'm going to grab a little bit of washi and I'm just going to put it right back there and then I'm going to get this lined up together. Right. Okay, so the washi on the back is just to hold these two pieces in place so that I can put down some transfer tape. And let's see if this particular piece, is this particular piece big enough? I think it's barely big enough. Like, really barely big enough. So, and I think it'll probably be the last time I use that little particular piece here. All right, so math teacher, like a normal teacher, but cooler. Okay, I think I'm going to have to make a mug like this. My daughter is teasing me. She said, Mom, you have too many mugs. And I said, yes, but they're so fun to make. So I'm trying not to make every single mug design that I see. I'm trying to be a little more prudent. Oh, I guess maybe I should burnish down the back, huh? Getting ahead of myself here. And then this particular item here is going to sit um, next to my document camera. And it's where I'll have like all of my little tools and writing implements, etc. Oh, we lost a U. That's okay. We'll fix that in just a second. I need my cooler to stay in place. Wow, I just lost several letters here. 
we're going to have to do some serious surgery. Here it goes. Has that ever happened to you guys? That's like really weird. Okay, so... Um, oh, here we go. So the L goes with normal. And I might have to move that over. We'll see. Let's see where this A, this A goes there. Hopefully I can get that A in the correct spot. Okay, so let me turn this over and see. Looks like I have a couple of letters that are crooked, so I think that I need to fix them really fast. Okay, I think that is so much better. Look, that's just so cute. Okay, let's get this down before everything kind of goes cattywampus. All right. So, let's see. I need to put it about right, about right there. Yep, that looks good. And then, all right, so this will be easy now. This is, we're just going to burnish this down. I guess that's a little bit harder on that side. Does not want to burnish on that side. No problem. We will let it go. All right. I tell you, putting it down and pulling the transfer tape off is always so much easier and nicer than putting the transfer tape on. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm going to stick that in there. I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous about the other side because this other one, now I originally... I originally had my joy drawed out and then I started to fill in, but I don't like this look here. This is okay, but um, I think what I'm going to do is I went ahead and did the design in vinyl. And if it doesn't weed very well, then later on I will just make a new one of these, but I won't color it in. I'll just leave it with the outlines, this yes. line color for the Cricut Joy pen. And it actually did a pretty good job. And then I came along and messed it up. So let's see what we can do with some vinyl and see if we can get this particular image to play nice. I, I don't know if it will because some of these letters are really tiny. Okay, so this is just way, this is just way too much and I'm just not feeling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the decision to trash this particular piece of vinyl. And later on, after the crafting session, I will, I will go in and I, I will redo this particular design. This was, this was my idea and I do need to move it up a little bit. So it'll look like this, but I'm going to redo that later after filming because otherwise we will be here forever. Anyway, this is going to sit on my desk and this, this is so cool. I just love that. That is amazing. And then this would make a great, um, you could use this same thing for all kinds of, you know, teacher things to give out. And what I did is I, this design had a fraction here and a fraction here. I contoured those out. Then I added the um, infinity and the pi symbol. And then I contoured out the cooler and then I turned around and added it back because I duplicated the whole thing. And I added back in cooler so that I could have it separate and use a different um, vinyl. Okay, let's do, we have one last craft. 
So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll take a look at all of the things that we did this evening and decide if we have a favorite. Okay, the last craft of the evening is another one of those trays that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And this one is a pencil. And this one is definitely gonna go to my teacher bestie with her name on it and then of course her little um, notepad. So earlier when I had dribbled the glue, the glue gone onto the other one, I just grabbed the excess off of the other one used my finger and wiped it on here. And then this has been sitting for a few minutes. Well, actually longer than a few minutes, but check it out. Boom, that is like serious magic. So I totally swear by that Goo Gone stuff in case you're ever needing something to work. So now the, the decision that has to be made is whether or not to have the name go this way or to have the name go this way. I think I'm gonna have the name go this way. I don't know that it really matters, but aren't these so cute? I just can't get over these trays. They are just so adorable. All right, so last craft of the evening, and then it will definitely be time to get ready for tomorrow because we are going hiking. A little eight mile hike up in the mountains. Very excited. Hopefully we don't have any weather issues. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that right there. So it'll be a great day to go for a really long hike in the mountains. Super excited. Nice view of the Tetons, my favorite place. Okay, so. Here we go. And let's see, we want it about, we want about half and half. So I think that, Oh my gosh, I wasn't real sure about the black vinyl earlier when I cut this, but wow, that is really stunning against that yellow. All right. Ta-da! Our last craft is done. Look how cute that is. Okay, let me grab all of our items from this evening and we can just kind of recap all of the projects and then decide if there is a favorite for the evening. Okay, so here are all of the projects from this evening and I would say overall, definitely a success. Um, we, let's see, we did the little notepads, just covered them with our pattern paper and then did a text name with an offset so that it would show up really nice. I absolutely think these are so gorgeous and they are super easy, inexpensive gifts to give to someone to just show your appreciation. You could even make some for yourself. And then these will accompany these little teacher trays that we got at the Target dollar spot. And they weren't a dollar, they were three but they just look really great and what a nice gift to just put this here in the middle and then add maybe a pen or some pencils and then some candy and wrap it all up in cellophane with a nice ribbon and what a great back to school teacher gift so these are fantastic then a little bit of organization so we have the little highlighters box here just a little pencil case and that will fit my highlighters nicely then i've got the one set of alcohol markers from hobby lobby and that they needed their own home so this box and have markers go out of design space this was just a text and then here a little bit more organization so these two little uh, file folders, I guess they're called file folders, but, um, or portfolios, and then some sheet protectors in there that I will use to sort and organize my 
removable and permanent vinyls. I'll just sort them by color and then I'll probably have two, a warm and a cool pattern because I'm not gonna have um, a bunch of different sleeves for patterns. And then this here, these were two of these little um, back to school little boxes, again from Dollar Tree. And all I did was take the double-sided uh, adhesive tape, put it all over the back of one of them, stuck them together, and they are not coming apart. This is gonna be a great addition to my desk. I'm gonna be able to house um, pencils, pens, highlighters, and my math tools all in one place. There'll be lots of room, plenty to go. Then I took the little insert. I added some vinyl. Okay, so this is a um, this is actually four different um, things going on that are put together to create one image. And then later on, I will go back and I will redo this particular um, design. She did not like the result that that was giving me when I started that earlier. So this is everything from this evening. I am super excited about all of these back to school organization and especially the gifts. So I would have to say that my favorite really is a combination of the little trays from Target with the notepads from the Dollar Tree that are all decorated with the adhesive vinyl. So I cannot wait to put these together for these two ladies and be able to give them something special on the first day back to school. So this is all for this evening. I hope that you found this um, tutorial was inspiring and maybe gave you a glimpse into some projects that you could try to do yourself um, to organize your space or get ready for back to school. And if this was inspiring, helpful, or informative in any way, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe share it with your crafty friends in case they too would be able to benefit from this video. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as part of our crafting community. So make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe, or subscribe button and the notification bell. And that way you'll know next time new things are posted. So in the meantime, I'm fixing to head off to go rest for a early morning hike. And I hope that you enjoy an amazing summer day tomorrow. And until I see you again in the next video, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.